Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. It's day 15 of the 100 day project. Day 15, we've, we've jumped over our two week mark by a day. <laughs> um, beautiful blessings to Kim Martin, Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals and Tammy M. Shenry, 3675. Beautiful blessings to you ladies. Um, I will let you take a look at that. I start my timer and we're gonna choose we're gonna choose our dragon card today. Yes, we are. We're moving along, ladies. We're moving ladies and gents. If you are a gentleman here, welcome. Welcome to all my new followers. Thank you so much for your subscribing and commenting and cheering me on for this 100 day project. I am Donna Twist, and I am a self-taught paper and fabric artist. Um, I come from a background of uh, scrapbooking and fabric and sewing and um, all, all different things. I dabbled in a lot of different things to lead up to this. Um, let's see what our card is today. Uh, okay. It's the potato dragon. How cute. Support is the word. You guys are all supportive of me and I'm so appreciative of you. This community is so supportive of, of all of us together. It really is. Uh, let's see what the potato dragon says. I love that card. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so... This card reminds you to honor those who nourish and uphold you. Oh, like our family and our friends and our community. Whoops, forgot. Okay. If you feel like you are not receiving that supportive energy, take this as a reminder that you do deserve aid from others. You also are being asked to see where you can bolster others who need your own brand of courage. Now is the time to get down to the basics. How are you cultivated? How are you sustained? Aw, oh, that's true. We are cultivated by receiving, but or giving, but we are also sustained by giving. I said that right, right? We are cultivated by receiving, but we're also sustained. Oh, yeah, vice versa. We're cultivated by receiving, but we're sustained by giving. Mm, or... We're cultivated by giving, but we're sustained by receiving. Same. It makes the wheel go round, right? The potato dragon. I think we could learn from the potato dragon. Okay. Whoops. We'll put our top cards in there. And you see how my brain is all twisted? It gets twisted. It often gets twisted. All right. Today, I figured... We are going to do some things in our journals. Now, I don't know what we're going to do in our journals, but I figured we're going to do some things in there. We're starting to pile up on our ephemera. We've learned what ephemera is and the making of ephemera, and that's what we've been doing. We've been making ephemera with our journal tags and our journal cards that we're accumulating. And these are going to be spread out, of course, in the books that we've made. But... I figured um, I wanted to get the book pages to that, and I don't know if I know quite where they are. I'll take a look. Mm. Are they right here? I don't know. I'll look in a moment. I figured, here, let's start with this one. We'll move these over to the side. We're just going to work on one. I don't want to work on too many at a time. So we're going to work on this one. Now, this one had a page that we made some pockets, right? And we can close that up. We can do that two ways. We can glue it closed and we can also collage it closed. So let me show you what I mean. Um, we can take a piece of paper, any piece of paper and glue it on to close it shut. And we'll do that with this one. I'm just going to make my fold in it like this. And then I'll get my height, what I want it to be. So I just wanted to go right up there to the top. 
I'll cut with a pair of scissors to get a straight line at the bottom. Be careful not to cut your pocket. <laughs> and then I'm just going to glue it on the inside on the inside of my oopsie. Did I get my glue flowing? On the inside of the piece of paper that I just ripped. And I'm going to just close up the pocket. I'll line up the bottom like that. And there we go. Now we have a pocket in our page that can hold a tag. Let's, let's grab one. See that? Just like that can hold a pocket. So we have some more pages in here. Of course, we didn't do much to decorate them. We can. I don't know that we're going to be into decorating today. We're going to close up these pockets and we're going to, um, we're going to, I know what we're going to do. Get it out, Donna. Um, oh, we're going to make some flips. <laughs> we're going to look at the flips of things. Let's see. Maybe we'll use some of this pretty, this pretty words on here. Um, I'm just gonna get the height like this. I'll fold it in half. I'm gonna get my height. Actually, first I'll give it a cut. Uh, first. Uh, it's going to be about there. I'm eyeballing it. That's how I do things. Like a cuckoo. <laughs> okay. That seems about right. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut this way. I might have to cut just a sliver off it again. And I do. Just a sliver. So it can close and it's not overhanging. And there we go. I'm just gonna go along the inside. Well, actually, you can decide where you want. Do you wanna see the number on this side? Or you can flip it and see the number on that side. I'm thinking I like the number on that side. So let's just do that. I'm making more scraps, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so that's very easy closing up the pockets in the pages that we made in our book now i think there's one more i'll show you another way you can do a few things i'm just gonna get that on there right and close it up and there we go and now we have another pocket see that now, I think there was more in here, weren't there? No. Yes, in the back here. Okay, so there should be two more. All right. So if you wanted to give your pocket more real estate, as as um, Carol Laws calls it, and also um, L Leslie over at 507 Willow House Journals, more real estate, you would take your fold of your paper like so you just you're worried about the height most of all so let's get the height right and the fold and let's see the height about there now instead of going on the outside you can go on the inside. You take your fold. I'm gonna take a little bit more off and put it down. But you would take your fold and you'd put it on the inside instead of the outside. And then by this opening up just a tiny bit, you get more, you get more in your pocket that way. <clears throat> and instead of putting the glue on the inside, you put the glue on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. Excuse me. 
I need to take a sip. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to put our glue on the outside instead of on the inside. Outside. And I'm just going to take the glue stick and glue it all up. And you can use wet glue too. It's up to you. Okay. So now it's all glued on the outside. I'm going to fold it back in half and I'm going to stick it down and I'm going to line it up. It's a little tricky. <laughs> stick it down, line it up first on the back side, and then I'm going to push this top down like that. And there, now we have our pocket and it's a little thicker. It's a little bigger. Um, so you can fit more things in there. Look, if we wanted to, we could stuff this now with three tags. <laughs> Not gonna leave them there. I'm just showing you guys how to do that. And then the last pocket, simply, you could just close it up just with a strand of glue, just like that. You don't need to do anything fancy. Just one strand of glue and you still have a pocket. Isn't that neat? Okay, that's a few different ways to do things in your book to get your pockets. We folded up the pages first so that they were so that they were in there and ready for us. Now, if you wanted to add a pocket, you can do that too. You can add a pocket by any of the journal cards that you made. If you wanted to make them into pockets before you covered the back, you can just simply trim them to size and glue them in place. We have some, we have some um, collage that we did and we can make those into pockets and tucks. So let's see, let's see what we can do here. Well, I can put a tuck right on the outside of this pocket. It's a pocket in the back, but I can make it a tuck right here, just like this, or a pocket. It doesn't go all the way to the edge and I wouldn't be gluing all the sides down, so it's more like a tuck. I could do it up at the corner like that or off to the side. I think, I think we'll do that, but we wanna also give it a focal point. And I'm hoping that I didn't put my focal points away. From the looks of things, I think I might have. <clears throat> Give me one second. Excuse me. Sometimes talking makes my throat so, so, so dry. And I'm doing a lot of talking with my videos. Okay. I think those are too big. I'm just going to take a look at what I have here. I'm going to put these to the side right now and I'm gonna take a look at my stash of what I already had cut out I think I might have some things that might be too big well, this is tiny okay Let's take a look. I think this guy will fit here. Oh, he will. Let's fussy cut him out real quick. Now, that's what I meant when I was talking to you about the master board and saving it. <clears throat> if you save it to decorate, you don't decorate it right away. You can decorate it for any theme of your book in the future. So if this book was not a bunny themed book, I could decorate it with flowers or butterflies or birds or owls or pretty much anything, a botanical theme. But of course, this is a bunny book. <laughs> so we're gonna decorate it in honor of the bunnies. I'll just quickly fussy cut this out as quick as I can. And I'm going to put that 
right there and we're gonna make a tuck. And the tuck acts just like a pocket, except it's open. It's only closed by two sides. Here, we're gonna glue this on quickly. and create our tuck. How are all of you today? I hope you are all well. All right, so we're gonna put this bunny right here. I like him just like that. And then I can even go and take um, a piece of <clears throat> Florentine paper and put something up in the corner if I wanted to. Changes the look of things. Just to take away from all the other brightness on the page. And we'll just go ahead and do that. I like that look. Before we glue it down in its place. In the book. If you want to change something after you've collaged it. Feel free to collage on it some more. It's okay. You can also ink around the edges if you want to. You don't have to. But you can. We'll just go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. And this is our tuck now from our master board that we did. And I'm just going to put that right there in the corner. And I'm only going to glue on two sides. That's the difference between a pocket and a tuck. A pocket, you would glue around three sides. A tuck, you're only going to glue around two. The side that it attaches to and either the top or the bottom. So we're going to do this side and the bottom. And I'm going to put that right in here. You can offset it a bit to the a bit to op the opposite side where you're attaching it in the bottom so that there's a bit of room and it's not corner to corner. Less wear and tear that way. Okay. And there's our little tuck. We have a tuck as soon as you open your book. With a focal point. It looks cute. Okay. Now, we've went over pockets and how to make them bigger. We've went over a tuck on how to... That's also a place to put things. Let's go over extensions. Extending of a page. You can extend a page in your book with a flip out. By doing the same thing that you did with a pocket and just getting a piece of paper and folding it in half like so and let me get, let me get my ruler so now I have that same fold that we used on our pockets we, we used it on the inside of our pockets and the outside of our pockets I'm gonna take that fold and I'm going to make a flip out. Now, when you make a flip out, you can do the same thing. Here, let's get something to do a flip out with so I can demonstrate it for you better. Let me see what I have here. Hold on. Give me one second. I didn't have anything planned for that, silly me. Um, I don't know, is this going to be too tall? Oh, I only did a short one. Alright, we will use this. We'll use this as an example. I'm just going to... Well, maybe I'll get a book page. I think I might do that. Hold on. I'll do this first, because I might use it on the book page. And I'm just going to get a book page to do a flip. Give me one second. I'm just going to grab it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Let's see what I have because I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see. Oh, how cute. I love these. I love these books. That's cute. 
Maybe we'll do that one. And I'm gonna have to make my paper bigger. Okay. And it's okay to change it. See, I'm changing it and that's okay. This isn't going to, well, you know what? It might work. Give me one second. We need to, um, we need to make this, oh, let me do this this way. I don't have my big trimmer on my desk. Okay. So we have our page that we want to insert. Okay. Now, I could either insert it with my with my paper collage on top or I can insert it with my with my um, little hinge on the inside so that it folds out. So I think that we're gonna insert it on the inside. So let me make sure that this is the right height for the book. It is about the same height as the page that I have in there. And I'm just going to I'm going to, I'm going to do two, I, maybe I'll do two pieces. So I'm going to put this down. I'm getting my, oh, well, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to put this down and I'm only going to glue one side of the hinge. Just one side. Because we went with a longer piece of paper. So I'm going to put the hinge here on the left side of the page where I want it to open. Okay, and I'm going to extend the hinge so that it covers, <clears throat> I need another piece, so that it covers the same um, amount of space and height. I'm going to fold it in half. The next piece. I would have made it longer at first had I known what I was doing but I didn't know what I was doing. So now I'm adding on as an extension and you can do that too. Okay, so I have another piece and I'm just going to extend my hinge. I'll just rip that off so it doesn't have to be the whole page. And I'm going to glue on the one side of it <clears throat> the back side because I, I want this to be my opening. You want to make sure that they're the same. They're going in the same direction. I'm glue that up. And put that down now. Like so. Lining it up. Lined it up. Okay. So now I have these two pieces, and because I'm gluing them together, I need to attach them because I extended it. Let me just wait for my glue to come down. If you used one long piece of paper, you won't have to extend it. Okay, now I have my hinge on the page. It's only on the one side. I didn't put it on the outside. Now I'm going to take my book page and I'm going to attach it onto the hinge. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper. Um, let me get one. I covered my magazine, of course. I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper, lay it down so where the top part of the hinge is showing, and I'm going to glue it all up. And you can also take a scrap piece and do this side too so you don't get any on your book. So let's do that. I'm just gonna glue it really generously to one side. Now I'm gonna remove all this paper and I'm going to attach my book page that I want to make an extension. And I'm gonna put it where I, where I want it should be meeting the side there. All right, there we go. Make sure it's down good in place. And now, of course, it's too big for the book, but I wanna keep the whole image, so I'm just gonna fold it in. 
like that. You can fold it however you want to. You can fold it more over. You can fold it however you want. So now it's acting as a flip in the book. Somebody else is reading it. They're seeing the flip in the book. They're opening it up and you have a flip. All right, but that's not all. You can finish this off. You can add washi tape down this center here or you can collage over it. I think I'm going to collage over it. So I'm just gonna use some cute book page. Cute, listen to me, cute book page. <laughs> you can use any book page. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make a little bit of a collage. Not too heavy. But just so that it's more secure. And it also gives it some um, something cool to look at from each page. You're gonna have to, after you collage, you're gonna have to, you know, make the, make the um, crease in it, but wait for it to dry. I'm kind of jumping ahead of the game here because we're on camera. Um, let me get some more papers. You can use color paper. You can use book page. Um, you can use washi tape. You can use thin pieces of paper or thick. Let's see. I'm just going to get another piece here and put it right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to cover the seam. I'm going to do some more. Oops, it's kind of floating my 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 uh, glue. Okay, and I don't want to really want to cover my image there because I like that. So I'm just kind of making it thin. It doesn't have to be thick. Oh, I'm trying to get some more paper here. Hold on. We can use this book page too. just put that right up there so now it's kind of giving the eye something to look at and it also is acting as a cover-up for the open crease now I can tell you that I'm not really wanting this page all of it here so I'm going to take the rest of my collage and cover it up and I'll just go ahead and do that now. Let's see. And it's okay to do that too. This is our collage skills that we learned. And I'm going to put the roses right here. I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking I like that. I'm putting it right here on the page and it's and it's covering up this and that's okay. This is all collaged in securely now. I might even take and cover that up too because I'm not really feeling it now either. <laughs> and it's okay to do that. How about some blue? Oh, I like the blue. Let's take a look at this. Collage is fun. Different colors change things. Different different colors bring different views to a page for sure the rose just made it look so differently than the blue and I think I like the blue so I'm going to go with that on the page <clears throat> and then we're going to take a look at the back side and there's many things that you can do to add um, flips into your book you can use fabric you can use washi tape. You can use paper. We're doing paper collage on our flip today. And then let's go ahead and cover up that top because now it's only a partial image there. Oh. Maybe I like that. 
These roses are much different from that, but hmm, well, maybe we'll do that. Two different blues. I'm liking it. I think that's what we're going to go with. I like that. And we did cover up this whole thing, but that's okay. It's still, it's still on the seam. I like that. All right, let's just go with that. I didn't even know I was going to like it, and I do. And then if you want to, the page that you have added in as an extension, you can also add um, a tab to it so it, you can pull it out so that it's interactive or you can leave it plain or you can add a little bit of color that you used over here onto the page over here let's do that So it brings it all together. I think I'm gonna put this on and then cut it off. <laughs> so I can get it. well, actually, I'll just, I'll use my ruler. It's fine. I'll eye it again and then use my ruler. Okay, now I'm gonna glue up this whole piece and add it onto the side there because now my collage is being extended over here. And it looks kind of cute, I think. And we're still seeing the page that we just put in as the extension. I'll fold this back on itself. And of course, I'm gonna decorate the other side too. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and make sure that that crease is good. The dry should, the glue should be sort of dry by now, but it might not be, and that's okay. <laughs> that's the breaks we're teaching. So you would wait until your glue's all the way dry. I'm gonna take this in so I can get this crease good. It's already made there for me. Okay, I'm gonna fold it back in, and then I'm gonna take my bone folder and make that crease really good. like that. Let me close up this glue. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our flip. Well, that's not supposed to be there. My glue is not all the way dry yet. So we have our flip in our book. And now we can go ahead and do the same thing to this page. And hmm, we can do a totally different theme on this page. Totally different. We don't have to do that same look. We can take our book page and put that down. We can take our rose and put it on this side too. We can leave our, our um, paper that we used showing and just collage around it. I think that's what we'll do. I kind of like, I kind of like the look there. I love the kitten over here. I don't like those together. We can bring some of the blue. Oh, look, I knew that was, I have two pieces here. <laughs> That's why. We can bring some of the blue over. Oh, I'm liking that because there's a blue door and that brings out the blue. I like that look. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to um, take off some, a little bit. Like that, and maybe take off the top. There we go. We'll go ahead and glue that down, and then glue that down. There. Now we've decorated the inside of our book the way that we did, the same way that we did in a collage way with digitals. 
and we covered up those book pages to make them pretty on the inside using digitals. So we didn't use digitals to make the book, of course, because my printer was having issues. Okay, put that down. And then put this down on top. Whoops. So this is the way you would decorate the inside of your pages in your journal that you made or some of the ways that you would decorate the inside of your pages because there's many that you made with book pages in using digitals and other books we have this side okay now I still want to do something over here I'm not feeling that quite so the way it is. So I think I will go ahead and take a look at my digitals and see what else I have. Oh, we can put something up at the top there too. Um, an image or even a tuck. No, I'm not feeling that, but we could. But then it's gonna be seen on this side. Well, let's see. I would put the tuck over here on this side. <clears throat> Let's see if we put this, I think I like that. Let's take, this has a white core, so I'm just gonna ink it up. I think I'll just put that right up on there like that. And then of course I'm gonna have to fold it back on itself because it is the flip. Let's go ahead and put that on. I'm gonna match it up to the corner. Match it up to all the spots. Maybe I'll even put a piece of book page down here. Yeah, I like that look. It gives the whole page some character and definition <laughs> and something to, for your eye to flow. There we go. And there we go. We have our flip out. Now we're gonna used our bone folder to get this to fold because remember I just glued it on and then I know that you know some of you don't have this tool but there is another tool on the market let me see if I have it close by I do it's this tab punch here they sell this in um online and in the craft stores and it's if you've if you've never seen it before it's um it acts just like the the whale tail tab but it's just looks like a file folder tab instead let's see what i have here um i'm about to use a piece of let me see not like that look. I don't know if I'm going to have enough paper here. Hold on one second. This one. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. And I haven't used this in quite some time, so I might have forgotten. So give me a moment. <laughs> Where's my ruler? Here it is. I'm closing in on my desk here. Okay. I know that the paper has to be folded in half. Let me see. Okay, so I think that this piece has to go in. So there's a fold, this is the folded piece. I'm pr really probably not the one to teach you. I'm probably gonna mess this all up. This is the folded part. This is the open part. <coughs> when you put it in your machine, you need to make sure that the folded part is not in the cut line. You have to make sure that it's just down below the cut line. 
And we're gonna do that now. There we go. And now it opens like a tab and the folded part did not get cut. If that folded part was in the cut line, you'd have two pieces of your tab and you don't want that, okay? And then also the whale tail tab. Let's see, we'll just stick this little piece of Florentine paper in there and get that. Let's see which one we like better. Okay, I think, oh, I like this one. I like that up there. They're kind of the same. I think I'll use this one. So I'm just gonna put glue on each side of it. You should have laid this on its side. No, I didn't. I never do those things. I'll put this right up at the top, like that. And then I'll put some glue on the other side. And close it together. And now we have our tab with our flip, opening our book. Mm, I have to let this glue dry. I have to let the book stay open. <laughs> Okay, so we've went ahead and put a flip in our book, a flippy page. We've done that in this book. Oh my God, I gotta fold this better. And of course, this does get built up, you know, it does get thick when you add more things in it. So just remember that when you're adding more things, it tends to get thicker. And we will continue tomorrow with more things to add in our book, more flips, and more interactive things. So we went over pockets today, how to close them from the inside, how to close them from the outside, how to just glue them shut. We went over those things, and we also went over how to attach a page flip. This is how I attach it, and there are many ways to attach it. Like I said, you can also go in here and just attach it with a piece of washi tape. You don't even need to do all that collage. You can attach something. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, where was that little piece that I put in here? That little thing that I cut out. I'm trying to see if I can, we have two minutes left. Oh, I don't know what I did with it. Of course. <sighs> What's this? No. Where'd that little thing go? Oh, now I'm gonna be so upset because I can't find it. Oh, well, here, we'll attach this. This is just a colored tag. We can decoupage it afterwards. I'll put something on it. But let's just say we wanted to attach that on this side. So you would just take a piece of washi tape Keep your, keep your things together. And that's not a good one to show you because it's a very uneven page. Here, we'll do it here. Keep your things together, just like this. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to hold it. So you have your pieces together with a little bit of space in between, a tiny bit. You just wanna line them up and you put your piece of washi tape down Like that. Now it's a little uneven, so bear with me here because, of course, we need to do it again. <laughs> bear with me. What I'll do is attach it first on my tag, one side, like this, just one side, and then I'll go ahead and attach it to my book page on the other. And I could see through it, so it's rather easy to do. Okay, so now we have our, our flip. 
and we can go ahead and take our washi tape and close it up on the other side as well so that stickiness is not on both sides and it also is more secure so now we have a flip made from our washi tape so if you have washi tape you can do that too it acts just like the glued piece of paper all right you guys i'm gonna let i'm oh and there there's our timer i'm gonna let you guys go so you can go make some flips in your pages too of course we need to let it all dry <laughs> it's gonna keep doing that until it dries i'm gonna try to keep it open and let it dry and then I think I'm also going to collage up here as well on this side. I didn't get to that part. I didn't see the papers that I wanted here in front of me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you that tomorrow. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me for day 15. I'm so, so thankful to all of you and beautiful blessings, my crafting buddies. I'll see you again tomorrow for day 16. Bye for now.